Cornwall held a special place in Cedric Morris's heart. He travelled there for the first time in 1917 and then returned two years later with his partner, Arthur Lett Haynes. They lived there for a few years before moving to Paris and by all accounts their presence made quite an impact. Cedric was known, according to Lucien Freud, his ex-pupil and friend, as the Cezanne of Newlyn, probably on account of his manner of painting, which consisted of these short, choppy, colourful, post-impressionist brushstrokes. Even after Cedric and Lett had moved to Paris, Cedric would often return to see his sister Nancy, who lived in Newlyn. When he travelled down there, he would bring canvases and would paint landscape views, such as this work here, painted around 1932, and later exhibited at one of his exhibitions in London. What Cedric's done here is reduce what is quite a complex view of a rugged coastline into a patchwork of colour and simplified form. We see here a view of Gurnard's Head, which is a short distance away from St Ives on the north coast, and indeed from Newlyn, where Cedric presumably stayed. In fact, Gurnard's Head is in an area called Zena, where Cedric stayed on his first trip to Cornwall in 1917. So it's obviously a scene that he knew well and meant something to him. Although Cedric is best known as a painter of still life works, it is in landscapes such as this that we get a more complete understanding of his originality as an artist.